Yes, I think there is. And I think the way to do that is creating an economy that attracts new businesses into the state, helps the businesses that are here grow and prosper. Uh, when we do that, we grow the economy, we bring in more revenues, and that should, um, my hope and expectation would be uh, ease tax uh, payers, uh, the property tax burden. We must make sure at the state level that we're not downshifting to the local communities. When we downshift, local communities don't have much else to do other than raise property taxes. That should not happen. The most important thing we can do to taxpayers in the state, you know, obviously we need, I, I'm not for a broad, any broad-based taxes. I'm, I'm for reducing business taxes, reducing taxes at, at every turn, frankly. I, I get a little frustrated with the Democrats who take the pledge to, for no broad-based tax, but then hit you with every other tax and fee uh, but you kind of around the corner, so to say. It's not in the spirit of our low tax base here in New Hampshire. One of the things I hear out there is we have a lot of seniors, right? We have those that are more and more on fixed incomes as our state has become older over the years. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but you need policy and leadership out of Concord that is ensuring things like low energy costs or low fuel costs so that those folks that are on fixed incomes that are already handling some of the burdens of high property taxes are not um, double whammied, if you will, with the, the high variable costs that we have in the state. We have to do our best in Concord to keep those variable costs low to provide the best quality of life for individuals in the state. The first thing we have to recognize is that government cannot continue to take a higher share of people's salary every week and have that as a sustainable solution. And so when we look at the high property taxes, which is a real problem in our state, we have to peel back that onion and figure out what's driving that. And really what it is is 73% of the property tax bill is used to pay for education. I was looking down the list of cost per pupil in New Hampshire, and we've got some communities that are, it still costs us over $30,000 a year to deliver education. So I would tell you that there are opportunities in this state to rework our education model so that it not only works better for the students who are being educated, but it works better for the taxpayers who are having to pay for it. And what's really disturbing about this is our biennium budget on education is about $3 billion. 6% of that money comes in from the federal government. 73% of it comes from property owners. But that 6% is like the tail wagging the dog. They are trying to tell us, you know, what to teach our kids by giving us common core and shoving it down our throats.